What does it even look like to start a brand new profile with a Hyperion? Well, this is the question that kept me up at night and finally we have a chance to find out. Being one of the best weapons in all of Hypixel, naturally it has some hefty requirements. So let's get started. We are finally here. Far out. First goal of the profile, let's unlock the bazaar as quickly as possible. I do feel like for this profile, my goal is going to be to become a mage pretty soon. I'm basically going to speed run unlocking the Hyperion, obviously. And yeah, well, uh, let, let's get started here. To make sure this video is not five hours long, I am not going to show you all the steps that I took to unlock the bazaar. With that being said, the next video on my channel will be a guide on how to unlock the bazaar in the fastest way possible. PLDR, I leveled a bunch of skills, unlocked a bunch of collections, and collected a bunch of fairy souls. And there we go. Skyblock level seven has been unlocked. Gained a bunch of health and also access to the bazaar, which is sick. I'm just gonna use the bazaar here to just do a little bit of flipping. If I'm gonna become the best mage that there ever was, I'm gonna need a lot of money. So it's time to start flipping. For whatever reason, I felt like starting with 10 coins. So I did some basic flips to get some started cash before moving on to one of the most overpowered flips for new profiles. All right, there we go, that is done. I'm gonna show off the first actual method and that's gonna be crafting bank. Bank book. Uh, let's just buy it instantly. 32. That cost me 2,326. I'm going to go and combine it all. Obviously, we're going to be making bank bank five books. So so if you didn't know, combining these books actually costs nothing. Like no levels or anything. So we can just do this infinitely. There we go. But if they both sell, we've got 94k. So we'll see. I need five more. We'll just do another 16 and that is done. So there is our bank five book. We have now three of these, which is uh, which is insane. I'm going to throw these up and let it run. Oh, huh? One is already sold. Okay. Okay. All right. What? what? While this is working with bank books, it also obviously works with all other manner of book, ultimate wise, wisdom, all of that sort of thing. Just if you, yeah, making books is a very common living technique. All right. So by the way, that took me a grand total of maybe, maybe 50 seconds to a minute. Like not even, it's honestly so fast. We have 46K here and then I sell off for 189K. That's crazy. That's crazy. Dude, that's wild. I have got something <laughs> crazy to show you, to be honest. I go into my bazaar. I have got 1.1 million coins to claim, and it's all in Bank of Five books. And they they would have cost me about 10k. <laughs> so a video is coming to show off some more of the awesome flips that I've found in this session. But for the sake of the video, it's time to skip ahead a bit. In terms of my progress, I would like to do a couple of things first i want to change all of this to wise so i'm going to do that very quickly i'm going to start really focusing on maid it's not really the best move please come on give me all right we're spending a lot of money it's okay it's what it's for Gosh, why does it even exist, bro? Oh, I just went straight past wires, dude. I just spent so much money and then I went straight past wires. Yes. Wires. There we go. Now we have a full wires set here. The next thing that I want to do is actually buy an aspect of the end. So that's pretty, that's a pretty good price. Take that aspect of the end. Elements. Uh, it's got ultimate wires on it. I don't have access to ultimate wires. Go have a look. Oh, it's heroic. Ah, I went past heroic. Dude, I need to stop doing this. Heroic? Because I don't have access to ultimate wires, I need enchanting levels. This is only temporary. I'm making my bridge out of, <laughs> out of bookshelves. Let's do it. Specifically, I need to get to enchanting level 20, and the easiest way to do that is to make an experimentation table. After adding all of the enchants onto my gear and things like that that I need, it was time for me to craft one. All right, there is the experimentation table. 
And if we have a look at the rewards on this one, I got just under 100,000 experience, which is going to put me all the way up to level 16. <laughs> very, very cool. Ultimate wise is level 20. So we'll have to do that a couple more times. All right. Please do not kill me. Oh my gosh, I only just lost 2.1 mil nearly. It's time to move on to our next major goal of the profile, and that is going to be our accessories. Accessories are the key to becoming strong in this game. Basically, the way that it works is the more accessories that you are holding in your accessory bag, the more of something called magic power you have. The more magic power you have, the better stats that you get. The first step to maximizing accessories is to maximize the accessories slots that you have. And the way to do that is very, very simple. You need higher redstone collection. And to do that, we are going to be using minions. Let's go into minions. We want compactors. I think I want eight. If you don't know what a compactor does, if a minion is holding a compactor and they can generate blocks of whatever it is that, that they're collecting, it will do that. And in the case of redstone, this means that we can store up to nine times more items. Now, I actually want super compactors and I'm going to buy two super compactors. Is the plan. Super compactors, on the other hand, actually turn the item into the enchanted form, which is considerably better, but it's a lot more expensive. That's why I only got two and you'll see why in a moment. So it's got two tier 11 clay minions for me for 600k. Not a bad deal at all, I don't think. The reason I bought two clay minions here is because it actually gives you fishing experience. A little known fact about me, three times a week, I wake up at night in a pool of sweat thinking about the early levels of fishing. I don't know if I die and lose money, but we're just going to teleport to the hub before I have a chance. So I actually do know that I die and die, if I die, I don't lose money, but whatever. <laughs> I know that some of you are planning on playing along with me, but for the sake of the video, I am going to skip what happens next. All you really need to know is that I needed more minion slots and I was going to use foraging to do that. So with the money, I bought a tree capitator, collected each of the types of wood until I had a full inventory, and crafted minions until I had a total of 10 slots, before finally listing the tree capitator back up again. So the regular compactor obviously just, um, just condenses it down into a block means that I will have to check these guys every day. Oh, sorry for my trick capitator. That's awesome. Got some money back. Sweet. Then you in on the spending spree, I think. Down. I just don't trust it, bro. Like I may die. That's that's a pretty solid start. That should that should help me substantially to unlock some more uh, minion slots and things like that. So with that mini chore out of the way, it's actually time to go and spend some money on some accessories. Let's go into accessories here. If we go to the auction browser, go into accessories and then go to lowest price, uh, we get a bunch of different things here. So first of all, you're going to notice that some accessories need some requirements. I'm going to go work on them right now. But again, it's still with this in the same, the same idea. We just need accessories. So that's two accessories down. I want to at least fill up my accessory bag. So let's have a look what I've got in here. Right now, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So six accessories that I can put in there. Let's get a compactor, personal compactor. Uh, 5,000 is a mil. I think we'll go to 5,000. That's a bit of a, an investment there, but it's so worth it. Such a good item. I feel like I need to explain this a little bit. When I was initially looking at the lowest price accessories that were available, there were no wood affinity talismans at all. But after about a minute, there's now a bunch in there. What this tells me as a flipper is that they are not meant to be there. They are priced way too low. And honestly, just watch what happens. But hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, it's all the same guy. I'm mean, going to buy them all. The guy's doing nothing right now. This one? Yeah, I just bought all of his wood affinity talismans. What was he thinking? Dude, this guy's name gave me a little bit of an aneurysm, I'm not gonna lie. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna list these up now, except for one, 289k. So, if I sell even one, 289k, I've sold, I've got my money back, so. Right, now that is done. There's only one accessory here that has a requirement. So, personal compactor, throw that in, wood affinity, very good. Red claw, gravity, and eh. Yeah, this is the one here, red claw, we just need wolf slayer one, so let's go get working. It's time to move on to the third and final goal for this video. We need to do combat. The way that we're going to be doing that is going to be all through Slayer. 
And the reason why I haven't done any combat until this point is because the fastest way for us to get early combat levels is going to be in the crypts. The crypts are home to crypt ghouls. Crypt ghouls are level 30 and have 2000 health. My goal is going to be able to one shot them on crit. Yeah, we need some crit damage and crit chance and all of that. Oh, we got a boss. Oh, he's gonna go. We just got 500 health. Okay. This is manageable, though. It is manageable. Awesome. Uh, so if I do tier 2 now, I really need to reforge everything. I don't. It's pretty good why I've started out by going mage, dude. It's so stupid. <laughs> at least I can move super fast. I need to be at least two shotting these guys. How much health does he have? 20k, bro. No, I'm not doing that. Oh, I got it. I actually got it, dude. I, I thought for sure I was dead there. Oh, Ooh, okay. It might be time. It might actually be time. That's one of my favorite flips. Turn a revenant biscuit flip. So good. Let's just, let's quickly upgrade my, uh, my zombie ring real quick. All right, let's go and get this wolf slayer one done. Not, it shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. Although I'm really shooting myself in the foot. I'm at least going to go to Maxwell and just change to it. Whatever the highest crit chance one is. Like, let's bet this one is the one. What is, what is my crit chance right now? 42.4%. So let's let's actually fix that. And <laughs> I was maybe jumping the gun a little bit. I'll wait till I've got uh, the combat level, and I'll and then I'll get I'll get a very wise set, and that'll be uh, that'll be my mage here. Let's start with this. Good, sharp is good, and then I believe we want we want fierce or pure on on the armor and pure. So three out of four are pure, which is eight percent crit chance, and then. It's, it's five percent for chance pretty solid so we should be right up there now uh eight and five point four percent crit chance very very solid in the about shooting points so all right 86.44 percent is very nice actually i'm very happy with that so the yeah, arm um, damage are we doing 2k damage first hit that's that's very nice so to unlock Wolf Slayer, you actually have to have defeated this spider tier 2 boss first, which was very easy with our new reforgers. Once that was done, Wolf Slayer did not take long after that either. You want hits here? Or somebody just well, one of the water affinity talismans. I don't know if any of the other ones sold. I did have to drop a hop off for a minute. Yeah, that's all of my money back. Let's go, dude. Yes. That's sick. These are looking good here. Uh, we have access to the wolf talisman that is now in our bag. Oh my god, three of them sold. One thing that I'm interested in seeing along the same lines as the accessories, we need to share all the turges. This guy right here, Jacobus. How much does it cost? 1.5 mil. Oof. What's much? And there we go. So that, that should give us a little bit of healing. Honestly, not much. With that out of the way, it is finally time to see how we go against the Crypt Ghouls. See how we're doing here. And one shot these guys, which are great. Should have access to... We should have enough healing. Oh! How rare is that? It's one in, one, two... Are you... <laughs> Six percent magic fine. That's drop head chance is twenty five thousand. Confirmed from looking at the mob drops in bestiary. One in thirty three thousand for epic, and one in one hundred thousand for legendary without pet pet luck. What is my pet luck? Pet luck nine. Dude, what is going on? I'm going to list this up immediately. All right. There we go. Level one ghouls. One in a hundred thousand drop, basically. So I've actually just had a dramatic change of heart here. I'm actually going to cancel this auction because this pet is, whilst absolutely useless to me, um, I think it's 
really cool. We're going to see it in here with all of my other pets. Uh, and that's just going to stay there, I guess. Uh, I'm about to hop off for the night. I'm just going to quickly claim all of this redstone. And there we go. We've got a medium accessory bag update uh, upgrade there. Uh, plus six slots. That's sick. We have a look at my accessory bag. I'm going to have to fill this up now. I've got six more slots that I'm going to fill up. So that'll happen tomorrow. And I've got a big, big plan for that as well. Last night, I sat up a little bit just doing some craft flips here. I was actually making Revenant, Vis Re Revenant Viscera. I started with 2 million coins, and I'm about to show off how much I actually managed to make. Um, there we go. I was only doing it for about an hour, and I really was not really that... I wasn't focusing that much. Let's check the option house real quick, and finally, this thing sold. Oh my gosh, that took ages. Anyway, so I've got 6.3 million coins, which is very, very useful uh, for what I've got planned next. So if we go over to here... Yes. Yes, another six slots. My goal is going to be to fill up my accessory bag. I've got I've got 12 slots to fill up on it. I've got 6.3 mil. I'm going to be buying a set of very wise dragon. Let's have a look. What do we got? Best play, 1.3 mil. Okay, it looks like I'm just going to have to try buy normal wise dragon armor. 1.6 mil. Yeah, I've saved money just by insta even just insta buying it. There we go. And that's a flip, by the way, if you're ever wondering. Game is it's so easy to find flips if you're paying attention. This is actually my first real set of mage gear right there. Nearly 100k a game. That right there is like a dream gear set. Love it. Love. Now, we can see that this requires combat level 16 to even wear. Uh, so that's going to be my immediate goal here. I'm just going to go straight for, straight for combat 16. If you are following along, one shotting these guys is pretty easy. Just need some accessories. Actually, I'm going out with 1.6 mil. I need more accessories anyway. I'm going to go buy a bunch of accessories here. Might be heading into my first rare talisman. Yeah, 100k for a fish affinity talisman. Nope, never mind. Uh, we'll leave it there. So that'll that'll leave me with one mil. I'll be able to. Uh, to rebuild from that as well so let's go into my accessory bag and see and that finally out of the way it is time to grind out this 16 combat just a quick tip go and do wolf slayer and get the maddox bat phone if you didn't know that allows you to get quests while you're in the crypts still i basically did tier 2 zombie slayer unless there were some people in there that i thought could help me kill a tier 3 boss but then something crazy happened why did it absolutely know why i'll get a mouthful of food dude going on uh, tell me i'm wrong what's going on how am i how did i get two of them yeah it says it's one in thirty-three thousand as per the v that's actually that's actually so insane uh, i guess i'll throw that in the bag as well so i now have two pets from this guy absolutely wild absolutely wild this we have got combat 15 one more level one more level oh there it is <laughs> Yeah, it probably took about three hours, but there is combat six. Dean, let's honestly go right ahead and bowl. There it is. After finally unlocking our gear and reforging all of our stuff back to mage, we are basically fully set up and ready to go and do some dungeons. But for that, we'll have to wait for the next episode.